We mentioned Chelsea earlier on. They're currently in fourth, and Sky Italy are uh, reporting that Gonzalo Higuain has said goodbye to his friends in Milan ahead of a proposed move to Chelsea. Are we looking at a player, Danny and Higuain, who is going to be the answer to the Morata debate? If Morata comes out, is he Definitely. the man to replace it, what has gone before? His goal scoring record is sensational. Uh, in and around the box, he's absolutely brilliantly. Give him chances as William, Pedro, Hazard. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kovacic, Barkley will provide for him, he's going to score goals. And, and as Matt said earlier, they'll be looking at it and going, oh, can we catch Tottenham? Mm, possibly. Good chance of that, you know, with, with their injury problems. I think he's a fantastic... People go, well, he's what, is he 30 years old. So what? He might have four or five years. Mm. They don't need him for four or five years. They need to get back into the Champions League, mm. you know, this season, back in that top four. I think he's a, it'll be a fantastic signing. Well, there's reports that Brat is moving on back to Spain. I mean... When we look at the player that came over in Morata, the reputation, the career that it had up to date, is there a, 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 a risk perhaps with Higuain that the same thing could happen? Lauded, but then not really look, delivering the goods once I, he's here. I think that's always possible. Mm. In any transfer, that, that's possible. But you've you just got to try and take away the thoughts or the possibilities of that happening. And I think with Higuain, you're pretty much getting close to eradicating as much as you can mm that happening because you know we talk about his age but what comes with that is great experience mm. and he, he has that experience to, to score goals in, in, in different well, levels. Drogba came back, Zlatan came to Manchester United at uh, you know the twilight of theirs careers. Mm. The biggest thing is the manager knows him inside out mm. and they have a fantastic relationship so not only does he know how good he is from watching all the DVDs and whatever it is as a player he knows him as a person mm. and he knows exactly what he's going to get immediately that he steps onto that training ground. If you're looking at a straightforward comparison between Higuain and Morat, I mean, the numbers certainly do stack up in Higuain's sense. They do seem to be getting a player that the goals certainly are there, the appearances certainly are there. And, and you mentioned the age, Matt, of, of the player, but surely the immediacy of what Premier League football is, if he comes and does it for half a season, uh, two seasons, it, it, you're not looking for 10 years' worth of service, are you? Because football success has to be now, doesn't it? Absolutely, but he's, he's 30. Mm. It's like, you, I think you, play, you can play some of your best uh, footballing years from 30 well, to well, 35. Your, your prime used to be 28, 29. Of course. Mm. Suddenly now, 30's over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, oh, hang on, that was 29 yesterday, I was in my prime. Oh, one day later, <laughs> I'm past it. Absolutely. It, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I think, I think you could be fitter, you're stronger, um, as long as you look after yourself. It, it, you, it's the sharpness that kind of goes, mm. but it, it's also you, you gain a little bit through that that knowledge of knowing where the ball's going to be. You gain half a yard from reading the play better the older you get. So mm. it, it levels out, and I think he's, he's at a great age and in great shape to come and do a job in the Premier League. Fabregas has quite obviously moved on to pastures new. Um, do we is, is is that a player that they need to replace? I mean, obviously the bit part way that his season's gone so far. Was it just to click, not necessarily clear in the decks, but it takes a body out of the group? Well, it, it didn't start any games. Mm. Uh, I, I don't think they do need to replace him. You've got uh, Jorginho in there, you've got Kovacic, mm. you've got Barkley, you've got Loftus Cheek, you've got, you know, Hazard Adoy that can come in and play in position, you've got Pedro's in and out of this. You've got a lot of players in that midfield area. You've got new signing coming in at the end of the season. Mm. I don't think there's any desperate need to replace him. I actually think he had something that none of those players. Have got though. I think that that eye for a forward pass to put somebody in straight from goal. I don't think any of those players have got the same level as what he had. So from that point of view, I know he didn't start do, many do not, games. Do you not think Kovacic has come in to do to play that role? I don't. I, he, I haven't seen so far the, the 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 quality or the amount of occasions he's finding that pass. Maybe he has got that quality, but I haven't seen it as Fabregas. The, his first thought once he got the ball around the halfway line, his head's up, he's looking for the centre forward. Can I put it in behind? Which, from a defender's point of view, is just your biggest nightmare. But does he need to... The fact they didn't play him, mm. does he need to replace him? He's got players on the bench. But if he's spending money for the sake of spending money, you feel? I, like. I think it will, because mm. they've, they've got a new signing coming at the end of the season, um, in Pulisic. Mm. So, can they get by to the end of the season with Higuain coming in? I think they've got more than enough. Mm. You mentioned Callum Hudson-Odoi there. Is he a player that... We talk about young players and maybe taking a punt and moving away from a big club such as Chelsea, but at his age, he needs minutes on the pitch, doesn't he? Young players have to play football. You know, week in, week out, that is the most important thing. If he makes a move, he's got to make sure he makes a move for the right reasons to play week in, week out. Too many players leave six months, a year too early. They go for the big contracts, they're on the bench, mm. don't quite get in the team. 
and then a year later, they're almost unheard of. They're then having to drop back two or three steps mm. from where they were just to get football. So I, I think he's, he's got to be careful. But it's There's, not as if the big contract's not being offered, though, is it? No. It's being offered probably both ends. Mm. So I, I, he, he, need, he needs to play football. But there's clearly something that Sari's not seeing in training to give him those opportunities. He mm. hasn't, even in the, the lesser games, mm. he hasn't really got opportunities. And you think, well, he's given Ross Barkley you know, a chance, given Loftus Cheek a chance at times. Why is he not giving Hunter Adoy his opportunity in some of those games? There must be something that he's not seeing in training, he doesn't quite trust him. I, I think it's quite difficult in the sense that he's playing in a position where they are particularly strong at the moment, in the sense that Hazard, you know, arguably their, their best player, you know, in terms of excitement and, mm -hmm. and attacking wise. Uh, Willian, Pedro. So he, he's, he's juggling those three as well and trying to keep them happy. I think it's a difficult scenario, but I really think it's an emerging, you know, a, a new emerging market of our young players going to European clubs. It's shown in, in, in Sancho and, and other players. Do you think players. he's seen the, the success that he's had at Dortmund and he's obviously been linked with Bayern They're making a hell of a strong case to try and get him over there? The numbers that they're talking, £35 million plus for a player that's barely played in the Premier League is yeah. staggering really, isn't it? But as, that's obviously that's one case, but surely it's not a straight line, is it? Someone's gone there and done well. There might be other players that have gone there and sunk without a trace. Is that the real risk that he's, <clears throat> he's going to have to contemplate? Yeah, and I, think, I think the problem is for some of these very good young players that are on huge contracts, they're almost stuck in the middle. They can't, they can't go to championship sides, they can't sort of drop down a little bit, they can't afford their wages, mm -hmm. they're probably a little bit too good for that. They're maybe not quite good enough to step straight into a Premier League first team or a, a high-end European club first team. The club doesn't want to let them go because they think, well, actually, there's a bit of potential, we might need them. They've got to be careful they don't just stagnate, mm. you know, and, and not play, just keep trying and keep trying, and, and suddenly get to 24 and have played only a handful of games. But, but other than Spurs, it's very difficult for mm. a young player to develop at a top four, maybe even top six. Club. Suppose, so if, if, you, if these players were a little bit worse, mm. they'd be going and playing the championship, mm. or they'd be, you know, sort of lower down the, the pyramid. Because they're still... So is there almost a bracket there where they get stuck? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So they're, the manager's going, I don't really want to let him go, because if we do get a couple of injuries, he can step in, so we'll keep him around mm. just in case. Yeah, he's on, and he's on a good contract, so he's relatively happy. So I think those, those players of that ilk have got to be careful they don't fall into that trap of being around the first team squad for the next four or five years and never really get you, an opportunity. You can soon make backward steps. Mm. It's, mm. It's, it's not hard to make backward steps in that position, in that situation. Like you say, you're earning good money, you're not getting enough game time, and at that moment in your career, he's coming to the point of his career where he has to play. You know, you, as a young player, you have to go and play games. And if he's getting... I know he's going to... You know, the, the offer is from a massive club, mm. but they're not a club with maybe the strength and depth of what Chelsea have, especially in that position at the moment. So there's a bigger opportunity for him to play at a top club.